Hi, I'm Rebecca, and this is my vlog about knitting. I actually got like five minutes into the last one and remembered I had not turned on my fancy ring light, which is basically the only reason I do this now because I was doing Vlogtober and then on the 29th, I got a ring light for my vlogging career and I couldn't just not do it anymore. So here I am. Um, I am 40 years old. I live in Silverdale, Washington with my five kids and my two dogs and my boyfriend. I have a lab and an English Mastiff. My lab thinks that he is a German Shepherd, which is kind of annoying. And my English Mastiff doesn't care about anything as long as he's warm and comfortable. Um, this is my natural hair. I know I love it too. Uh, I don't do anything with my hair. I've had two haircuts in the last 16 years. Um, but it has reached terminal length and it doesn't get any longer than this. Like, that's it. <sighs> but yeah, this is all like, this is just my hair and how it grows. Um, because people do ask me that on occasion, which is fine. I love talking about it. I love my hair. Um, I'm really glad I never dyed my hair. I haven't, I dyed my hair. I put purple streaks in it once when I was like 21 and then I have not dyed it since. And I'm so happy I made that choice because going gray naturally is so much easier than just going gray, like that, growing it out. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I had an appointment today to go see my therapist at 11 and I started feeling a little sick last night and I was like, yay, I'm gonna call and tell them I'm sick because I am and I woke up feeling fine. So I was sad and then they called me and canceled because he is not feeling well. And so that was, that was really great. I love cancel plans. They're my favorite thing in the whole world. It's like my favorite things are like cancel plans, knitting, buying yarn, fiber, talking about knitting. Cancel plans are like number one though. Like that's the best thing in the whole world. I love it. Especially things you didn't want to do in the first place, right? Okay. Um, there's some Halloween candy. I'm probably going to eat that in a minute. I love Almond Joys. Love. Everybody else in my house hates them. And I love that because I get to eat them all. So here's, oh, here's my candy opinions. Are you ready? Juicy pear jelly bellies are the most disgusting ones. They're nasty. Black licorice are also nasty. Okay, I will not be taking questions, but here's the thing. People always get angry when you, somebody hates the jelly bellies that you like, right? They'll be like, oh my God, how could you hate Juicy Pear? Okay, if you love Juicy Pear and you love black licorice, come sit next to me and we'll share some jelly bellies. That's underrated. You have to find the person who hates the things that you love and loves the things you hate. So you all can eat the whole jar and they don't take the good ones. I love buttered popcorn. It's my favorite. If you hate buttered popcorn, you can eat all the jelly bellies with me. But I don't share my jelly bellies with buttered popcorn lovers because no, like those are mine. The problem I have is that Neil and I both really love, really hate juicy pear and we hate black licorice and all the white ones, except for coconut. They're all nasty. And so we have to get our own jars. Jars, like the Costco kind the best. Halloween candy. That's what I, was, what I was talking about. I love Almond Joys. My family doesn't, so I get them all and it's really fantastic. Sorry, I had to swallow. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Okay. Um, knitting. I knit yesterday like I do almost every single day. If I don't knit, no, it's just, it is what it is. If I don't knit, it is very sad. I don't, oh my God, I don't feel like myself. I love knitting. I knit um, on my Stephen West mystery knit along. I knit the twisted rib at the bottom. We are past the spoiler point, so I'm not gonna be saying that anymore. Um, I knit the twisted rib, rib at the bottom. I messed it up. It's a disaster in ways that I don't think are noticeable. Like I know, but I don't think anybody else knows. I think my stitch count's kind of jacked in some places and I missed an increase and just fudged it twice or something you know things like that where I'm just like I don't even care but by the time I got done with it yesterday I was just like over it and didn't want to knit on it anymore so here's what it looks like with the kind of I mean, you can kind of see what it looks like do you think I cut the yarn no why would I do that apparently I just like set it down in a rage so here we go that's what that looks like I did the twisted rib. I actually hate doing rib and I hate twisted rib even more, but I really didn't mind doing this border. It really didn't take me very long. It wasn't that big of a deal. You can kind of see where things kind of have gone south, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. 
It's okay. It's fine. I like it enough. It's okay. Um, I did have an issue where I was not careful. And I... Of course I wasn't careful. Why would I do that? I think it was this one right here. Yeah. I like attach this one without necessarily being connected to this one. So I just cheated a little bit, you know, threw it over. I can't really tell. So I think it's okay. It's just not quite attached to the top anymore, but I'm not worried about it. I'm not gonna rip out all that twisted rib to take care of that. It isn't gonna happen. Of all the things that didn't happen, that one didn't happen the most. It's not going to, I don't care. I have not worked on my sock. I haven't, I didn't really knit yesterday after I got done with that. I just got tired of looking at it and I have to put the border on and I don't want to. I, I'm scared of running out of yarn. I should have prepared more for this, but I didn't. Look, here's maximum yardage. Here in colored dye works. Stuff my daughter got me. Why would you have like more than, why would you have just your knitting project in your bag? I got Christmas ornament at Target. Oh, it's all kinds of crap in here, you guys. All kinds of crap in here. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Watch me dig around in my bag. Okay, so here's what I'm working with. Okay. This is what I have left of my accent color. It is not much. I'm thinking about binding off in my accent color though, because I don't want to bind off in black. So we'll see when I get there. But this is like a little bit, it's not much. My black, I have this much. This is a um, nit pick stroll and so it comes in the ball. So it's very like loosely in a ball. This is not much y'all, not much at all. And then I have this color and this is all I have left. I think I'm gonna be able to get the border done with these two. I have more black, but that's my fourth skein. So we'll see, hopefully it works out. I don't know. Um, so today's a half day for my kids, so I don't have the whole day to myself, which kind of sucks, but I don't have to go to my, dentist, my therapist appointment either, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really have. I don't have anything else. Um, I'm probably gonna go put my hair up in a ponytail and get back to knitting. So, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to say, I already did this once, but I forgot to put my ring light on. I think I said that. Um, my friend Susie just put up another podcast, uh, Vegas Golden Knits. And I think you guys should all go watch because she's very awesome at podcasting and she has the greatest projects, but you have to go to episode two because she had the best Halloween costume in the entire world. And I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but I'm gonna put a link down below and you're gonna go watch and see her Halloween costume. Hear her talk about her Halloween costume. I'm gonna try to get her to put a picture up on Instagram or something because she had the best Halloween costume in the whole world. I kind of want to steal it for next year, but I don't do Halloween, so she's lucky. I'm not going to. Um, Vegas Golden Knits. So then the other thing I wanted to say is that I am just a person on the internet. I have a phone and I have Wi-Fi and I like knitting. Those are my credentials when it comes to talking about knitting. I am basically, I, I mean, I don't know anything. Who am I, right? And so I'm always telling people, start a podcast, do it, make a video, put it out on the internet. I am the last person that I would ever think would actually do that. Um, I am not made for the internet. When I started these video podcasts with my sister, who is still going to do it with me, by the way, she's just not doing vlogs. Um, we didn't know anybody. We knew no one. Okay. No one in the knitting community at all. I added, like I typed in like hashtag knitting and then I added a couple people who seemed nice. And then I, um, Subscribe to a bunch of knitting podcasts. I, I've done that already. And so, ugh, I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna pin it back or something. So subscribe to a bunch of knitting podcasts and we made a video and I thought I was gonna throw up, but then it was like, well, 
nobody's gonna watch if if nobody watches this then we'll just delete it and nobody will have seen it and it's not a big deal we'll just pretend it never happened um, and so that's the advice that I try to give to people is is if you make a video and it sucks and nobody watches then just delete it and it didn't like it didn't even happen but even if you don't know anybody and you want to make a video and you want to be involved in the YouTube like podcast vlog community I think you should do it you don't need professional equipment you don't need a ring light you don't need anything you need a phone and you need wi-fi and preferably some yarn that might actually help too um but just you know just do it do it and so my friend susie just did it and so that's why i'm like guys go see susie because i will help you i will give you advice i will tell you what i have done to become the most successful vlogger of all time and i'm willing to share my secrets with you you know just subscribe to my patreon it's only ten dollars a month no, i'm kidding i hate when people do that right like no i'm i'm not anybody i have like a couple hundred subscribers but i will cheer you on i will support you i will promote you i will help you i will tell you everything that i have done because i really want people to do this and i want people to do it with me so that i'm not the only one because it feels like everybody i watch doesn't do it anymore so my friend Susie, she's really amazing, I promise. So I'm gonna put her link down below and I really would appreciate it if you guys would go listen to her talk about her Halloween costume. And her knits are gorgeous. Her knits are gorgeous. It, I'm a clown, she's amazing. So I'm gonna go for real this time. It's been real, I will see you guys tomorrow. And I hope more of you will start making videos. I actually have a couple now to go watch. So. I'm really excited to fill my day with that instead of doing laundry. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are the real ones. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, bye.